Hello, welcome to this course ELEC 3844 Engineering Management and Society. Today's topic is Pestle Analysis, which is another decision making tool. So, Pestle, P E S T E L, stands for Political, Economical, Social, Technological, Environmental, and Legal. So, there are altogether six perspectives for us to consider whether or not to develop a market or to introduce your new products to a new city. So we need to go through this analysis before we go ahead. So let's first of all talk about the P, political issues. So political issues often refers to the government issues, how the government intervene the market and including the tax policy, labor law, and also some trade restrictions and so on. For example, nowadays, many of us know that there is a very influential political issues between China and the United States, uh, between the trade war. So this is also something that any investor, no matter they want to invest in China or in the US, has to be considered. And political issues also affect the demand of certain goods or products in the country. There are marriage goods and demerit goods, which means that for marriage goods, those are the goods that are wanted by a government. For example, nowadays, I think many governments would like to order face masks. Okay? So, many countries even impose trade restrictions on face masks. So, they can't export face masks to other countries. For the demerit goods, those are the goods that's not wanted by the government. Okay? For example, drugs, uh, tobaccos, alcohol, some countries would even ban selling those products. So if you are a trader selling these products, you need to consider whether or not the law and policy in those countries will affect your sales. Okay. The second perspective, E, means economic. Economic factors include, for example, the GDP economic growth, the interest rate, currency rate, and the inflation rate, and the rate, and so on. So all these factors will affect the affordability and the spending power of the people in those areas. And the economic factor will also impact your business. For example, the interest rate will affect your cost of borrowing money from the banks, and also the Exchange rate will also affect your purchasing power of, say, importing goods from other countries where the currency rate is high or increasing, then it will lower your profit margin. And all this factor has to be considered before you want to either import goods from certain area or export your technologies to another country. The first perspective S is the social perspective. There are many factors. For example, the cultural issues, religions, health conditions, and the age distributions, education level, populations, and so on. So this will affect the demand of certain goods in that area. And whether or not your company would like to sell your product in those areas, whether the people there will be your target customer, need to be considered. Okay. Now, for example, Aging problem is very serious in many countries, not only in Hong Kong but also in mainland Japan, all these developed countries or developing countries, they all facing the same problem. Okay. So it is a threat. Okay. If you want to sell education product or those products for the young people, while most of the populations in those areas are the elderly people, oh then they are not your target customer. But at the same time, this elderly market may be a new market for you. You may develop some new product, let's say this type of mobile phone with large buttons and screens to cope with this new demand. And there are some other products like the health product or some elderly education products. Maybe it could be your new marketplace. So this is also a new opportunity for you and okay? not necessarily a flex. So another perspective, T, means technological factor. 
including the R&D activities, automations, the improvement of productivities, and also some innovations and patent and so on. So this technological change will change the entrance levels of certain product or, the, or even the business and also it will change the way we produce goods. It helps us to produce goods in a more efficient way with more productivity. Okay. So it may change the cost structure, the quality of your product and also even create a new market. Okay. For example, smartphone is a good example. Before we have smartphone, mobile phone is just for calling, just for voice. But now a mobile phone, a smartphone can be used as a camera, as a recorder, as a web browser and so on. Okay, so there's many different functions and change the way how we make use of these tools. And the fifth factor is E, environmental factors. So this factor including the ecological and environmental aspects. Uh, for example, the weather changes, climate change, and also the more and more natural disaster and all these are considered as environmental factors. So this factor will seriously affect some industry such as tourism, farming, insurance. And I think the recent bushfire in Australia is a very good lesson for us. Okay, this is the way how the environmental factors will affect a lot of daily life in those Australian people. So the, the farmland are burnt and also the atmosphere, air pollution, the air quality are worsened and this also affects the health of the people. When we consider this factor, we need to consider while the environment is getting worse, the global temperature is rising, so sea level is rising. So what will be the new market? Okay. So the change in climate may also destroy some markets such as as this in Hong Kong no longer need any fake clothes. Okay. But how about you can turn into some new opportunities? Let's say selling air conditioner or selling other environmental friendly product. Okay. So there are some market will be destroyed but replaced by another market. So this is something that you as an investor need to consider. The last perspective is called L, the legal perspective. So when we want to sell your product to a new market, you need to consider the law in this new market, whether this is favorable to your products or are there any restrictions Okay. There are many laws such as the discrimination law, customer law, and uh, the consumer law, and also the employment law. Many laws have to be considered and, and make sure that your product does not violate those laws. Okay. And some products may be legal in selling in the countries, may not be legal in selling in another country. Okay. So when you want to export these products to another country, you need to consider okay, whether or not these products have violated the law of other countries. So pastoral analysis gives us some guidelines, a framework for us to consider different factors when we want to expand our business or move our products to a new area. These factors have to be considered. But different industry may have different focus on different perspectives. For example, if you are dealing with a B2B companies, right, then some factors such as the social factors may be more dominant in your considerations. And for example, if your product is selling some military products, okay, then the political factors are more important. Okay, sometimes whether or not the countries or two countries are in war or have any uh, military conflicts, then this may be your new market or opportunity. And if your company rely on debt or is very sensitive to interest rate, then the economic factors may be more important to you and you need to pay more attention on that. So parcel analysis, P for political, E for economical, S for social, T for technologicals, E for environmental, and L for legal are the six aspects 
that you need to consider. And some analysts may also extend these studies into a long parcel analysis. Long, L-O-N-G, means L for local, N for national, and G for global. So we could also study this six factor in three dimension. Okay, so you can write a matrix like this. And with these three dimensions together with the six perspective. So there are all together 18 holes for you to fill in. So when you want to expand your business to certain area, you also need to consider whether locally that city is suitable for your development or not. And then nationalize the whole country, whether the policy are supportive or not. And also globally, you need to analyze whether or not the global trend are favorable to your product development or not. So nowadays, the government is trying to promote the development of Big Bay Area and ask people in Hong Kong to develop our career and also industry and business in those areas. Okay. So let's try to make use of this pressure analysis to analyze whether locally, nationally and globally how this Big Bay Area can provide opportunity or a threat to us. So please log into Moodle and fill in your idea in the survey form. Okay, see you.